Hello, students, parents, and teachers. My name is Lisa Simmons. I'm an educator here at the National Museum of Wildlife Art. And I came to the museum today to give you all a virtual tour of the incredible exhibit, State of the Art Student Art Show. The theme this year is elements, and everyone interpreted that theme in an exciting and different way. We have the periodic table of elements, we have the elements of art, the deeper elements of the mind and body, um, all here represented in artwork, hundreds of pieces made by our local students K through 12, and a 1,300 square foot space at the museum. It's jam-packed with artwork in the ceiling and in every available space is artwork. So it's very exciting. And a quick thank you to our sponsors, the Smart Family Fund and the Wyoming Arts Council. So let's uh, get started on our virtual tour. Here we have Lindsay Alexander's Wilson Elementary School class exploring the geologic element of mountains. So colorful. Looks like there's some Teton inspiration in here too. And Coulter Elementary School Heidi Thompson's art class creating these beautiful group collages, mixed media collages of the elements. Fire, wind, earth, energy water and ice and snow. Summit Innovations High School, Amy Lowry's class. Jackson Hole Classical Academy, Ben Walters art class exploring the elements of art, perspective, value, line, color, rhythm. And Jackson Hole Classical Academy, Sarah Warder's class, exploring also the elements of art. Jackson Hole High School, Hannah Horrigan and Shannon Borrego's students created this incredible large scale ceramic tile periodic table of the elements. There's a Livermorium there. Arsenic. Lead. Very creative. And let's check out Jackson Hole Community School. Karen Parents students studying architecture. World architecture. 
she says, as we move through the world in architecture, we experience a range of conscious and subliminal elements. We investigated these experiences and conditions through a series of abstract projects in scale model form. And here we have more community school student artwork. These awesome three-dimensional profiles, portraits. And here's the Jackson Hole Community School mini master course taught by Kate Jensen on mixed media. This one glows. We have Lauren Brzezowski's Moran Elementary School, awesome little robots that look like they would take off and start walking. Little R2-D2 inspiration. This one's about to go to a fancy ball. So creative. Little keyboard on back. Gorgeous hairstyle repurposed found objects. Kelly Elementary School, Lauren Brzezowski's students created this amazing map identifying the locations of the fires in Australia, surrounded by Australian animals. Looks like a flying fox up there. And they also created rain sticks to help put out the fires. And also Lauren Brzezowski's class, but from Jackson Elementary School, exploring the elements of geology, integrating science here. We have some volcanoes, different landforms. Looks like ocean wave down here. These beautiful ceramic tiles. And Munger Mountain Elementary School art students, Elise Mox students, created this beautiful forest, a geographic element of Earth, the forest. Very colorful. CV Ranch Schools, beautiful sun catchers. Tonya Ralston is their art teacher. This is a solution-based visual interpretation of the relationships between climate and the elements. And visually, the students answered the question, how can you portray your elements in a proactive way as part of a responsible solution to the risks of climate change. Heidi Kohler's art class from the Mountain Academy of Teton Science Schools. Looks like some elemental creatures like dragons. Here's a sweet volcano. waves of the ocean, the lion head rabbit, Ooh, a giant squid, Ooh, element of water, maybe dragonflies here. A jet pack. 
Lots of awesome fires. I can feel the heat. Fireplace down here. I warm my hands. And Jackson Hole Middle School is Shannon Hart and Amy Aronowitz created these three-dimensional boxes with different elements of art and geography and geology. Looks like some of the periodic table of the elements. Very cool. And Alta Elementary School, Lindsay Alexander's class. Some fun ceramic pieces. Sweet little guy. Thank you for joining me on this virtual tour of State of the Art Student Art Show 2020 Elements. And from all of us here at the National Museum of Wildlife Art, we wish you continued health, happiness, and inspiration through art um, during this difficult and challenging time. And stay tuned when the museum reopens. We hope to invite you all back here to see this incredible exhibit. Thanks so much.